Hi guys, this is the fifth episode of Let's Talk About and in this video I'm going to be talking about my Pixar collection. So yeah, I'll start on tomorrow, I'll be doing the sixth episode, um, which will be Let's Talk About Paramount and then Monday I'll be doing the final episode of Let's Talk About and that'll be Let's Talk About 20th Century Fox. So yeah, so yeah stay tuned for those two, which will be tomorrow. tomorrow's one will be Let's Talk About Paramount tomorrow, which will stay tuned for that, and Monday's one will be Let's Talk About 20th Century Fox, so stay tuned for that one as well. So yeah. so yeah, and in this one I'm going to be talking about my um, Pixar collection. So yeah, so yeah, I have everything they've released so far. So yeah, there's some of the extras that I don't have, so yeah, but I probably won't bother getting the other extras. So yeah, I'll just keep getting the films. So yeah, so yeah, they have Luca is on Disney Plus at the minute. It's still not out on DVD, but I think that's coming out on DVD in October. So I will get that DVD for Christmas or maybe earlier, maybe. I'll think about it. So yeah, and I will get that at some stage, yep, when it comes out on DVD in October, I might get it for Christmas or something, so yeah. So and I watched Luke on Disney Plus and I thought it was a um, really good um, movie and you can check out my um, review on my channel and I will put the link in the description of my review of Luca. so yeah. So yeah, so yeah, but anyway, I'm going to be talking about my Pixar collection and I have everything they've released so far, so yeah. So yeah, so yeah, but without further ado, let's get started. So yeah, so yeah, let's get started. So yeah, so yeah okay, it all started in 1995 with Toy Story. So this was the first computer animated film. So yeah, so yeah, this came out in 1995. So yeah, so yeah this is a really good film. Um, yeah, who doesn't love Toy Story? Everybody's seen it. So yeah, I love this movie so much. I've seen this movie so many times and it's a really good movie. I love this film so much. Okay, that's 1995 and that's Toy Story. And then next up in 1998, we had A Bug's Life. So yeah, so yeah this is actually a good film. Um, yeah, it's probably one of my favourite um, Pixar films. Yeah, this is a good film. I like this film. It's a really good film. Yeah, you can see it's like Ants. I prefer this to Ants, but Ants is a good film. But I do prefer this to Ants because it's good. I like this film. This film's a really good film. It's a good film. I like this film. Okay, and you can see I ripped the Bugs Life um, logo on it there. See, so, yeah, because I don't have a cover for it anymore. See, so, yeah, all the slip covers. See, so, yeah. So, yeah, here's the front. Here's the spine. And here's the back here. And here's the disc here. Okay, um, that's um, 1998 and that's A Bug's Life and this is a really good film, um, one of my favourite Pixar films, I like this film, it's a good film. And then next up in 1999 we had Toy Story 2 which is a sequel to Toy Story. Yeah, now this is my favourite Pixar movie, it's my favourite movie out of the Toy Story series. So yeah, this one's my favourite because it's the funniest one and it has a good story to it. Yeah, who doesn't love Toy Story 2? Everybody's seen it. See, so yeah, it's one it's my favourite Pixar film, it's my favourite movie out of the Toy Story series. So yeah, this is a good film. Favourite Pixar movie. It's a really good film. I like this film. Okay, that's Toy Story 2. And that's 1999. And then next up in 2001, we had Monsters Inc. Siap. So yeah, so yeah, Monsters, Inc., um, yeah, it's one of my favourite Pixar films. This is a good film. I'm not mad on Monsters University that much. I don't really like that one that much, but um, this one's pretty good. I like this one. I kind of like it better than Monsters University, though, but I do like Monsters University, but this one, I, I like it better than Monsters University. It's just that it's funnier and it's a better story to it. Monsters University is a good story, but I kind of prefer this to Monsters University because I just like it more than Monsters University. It's a you, here's a front, here's a spine, and here's a back here. And it's on for 88 minutes, and you can taste more comic violence, University of Ball. And here's a disc here. So 
So that's um, 2001 and that's um, Monsters, Inc. And um, yeah, Monsters, Inc. It's a really good Pixar film. I like this film. It's a good film. And then next up in 2003, we had... Oops, sorry. 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 Finding Nemo. See, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but um, I will give us a rewatch um, soon, either on DVD or Disney Plus. See, so, yeah. so, yeah, I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but we'll give a rewatch soon. I'll watch it either on DVD or Disney Plus, whatever I feel like it. So, yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah this is a good movie. I, can, I, can, I can't really remember that well because I haven't seen it in a long time. So, yeah, but I, what, I, what I saw of it from the last time I saw it, it's a really good film. Um, I'm not mad on Finding Dory that much. I don't I'm not mad on that one that much. I don't really like that one as much as Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is the best one. Um, Finding Dory is okay, but Finding Nemo is the best one. I just really can't remember this film that well, so I can't really comment on it. So yeah, but I will give it a rewatch at some stage, either on DVD or Disney Plus, whatever. I feel like it. So yeah, so yeah, but this is a good film. It's better than Finding Dory, but Finding Dory is okay. But this one's better. I like this film. It's a good film. Okay, that's Finding Nemo. And that's. 2003 and then next up in 2004 we had The Incredibles so yeah so yeah, The Incredibles is a good film. Um, I kind of prefer the second one to this one, but this one's pretty good. Um, yeah, this film is a good film, good action film. Probably one of Pixar's actually first action films. So yeah, so not many of the Pixar films are action. I think this is the only one that's action. So yeah, it's a good action film. I kind of prefer the second one because it has more action in it, but this one's pretty good as well. I like this film. It's a good film. Okay, that's 2005, and that's The Incredibles. I mean, uh, that's 2004, and that's The Incredibles. And the next stop in 2006, we had Cars, the first film. So yeah, so yeah, oh yeah, Cars is one of my favorite Pixar films. Um, yeah, it's, this is a really good film. It's a really good story to it. I love this film. It's my favorite Pix. It's one of my favorite Pixar films. So yeah, this is a really good film. I love this film so much. Yeah. I really hate the second one. The second one sucks. And um, I like the third one. The third one's good, but the first one is the best one. This this was way better than Cars Two, and Cars Three is good, but I don't think it's as good as Cars One is. But I do like Cars Three as well. So yeah, but I hate Cars Two. Cars Two sucks. So, yep. But this one um is pretty good. I like this one. It's one of my favorite Pixar films. It's a really good film. I like this film. Really good story to it. Okay, that's two thousand six, and that's Cars. And then next up in 2007, we had Ratatouille. So, yep. so yeah, um, yeah, Ratatouille is a good film. It's probably not one of my favorite Pixar films, but I still think this is a um, good film. It does have that like, great animation. I like it. So, yep. I love it. It's a good film. It's really good. So, yeah, I like this film. It's a good cook film. Filmed in Paris. I like this film. It's a good film. Okay, that's 2007, and that's Ratatouille. And the next stop in 2008, we had... W Wally. So, yeah. So, yeah, Wally's a good film. It's probably one of my favourite Pixar films. Um, Yeah, this is a good um science fiction film. So, yeah, it's, f it's Pixar's first science fiction film. So, yeah, it's, it's a really good science fiction film. I like this film. Yeah. um, It's a good film about a robot. So, yep. Yeah. So there's not much talking in this. It's similar to like Shaun the Sheep and other films. So yeah, so yeah, this is a good film though. It's a good science fiction film. I like this film. It's a good film. Okay, that's 2008. And that's Wally. -E. And then next up in 2009, we had... Up. Sienna says from the creators of Finding Nemo Monsters Inc. 
So yeah. So yeah, Ops are good films. Probably not one of my favorite Pixar films. Um, I think this is the first Pixar film to go downhill a bit. So yeah. So yeah, this was the first one to go downhill. So yeah. So I do think it's a good film though. It does have great animation, but I just think this one's okay. I don't think it's one of the best ones. I think this is the first one for me to go downhill. So yeah. So yeah, the beginning of this is really sad. I think I cried at the beginning of this, but you don't want to see the beginning. It's really sad, but this one's good. It has great animation, but it's Pixar's weakest films. This is the first one to go downhill, I think. It's like, okay, this movie is, but anyway. It's a you, here's a front, here's a spine, and here's a back here. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to bother with that. So yeah. See, so yeah, okay, and it's on for 93 minutes, and you can taste master at University of Ball. And you get a sleeve for the hair, there's the back. And here's a disc here. So up, uh, yeah, this is the weakest Pixar film I've seen. It's the first one to go downhill. I like this film though, it has great animation, but I still think this is the weakest Pixar film. So yeah, so yeah, but anyway, that's up and that's 2009. And then next up in 2010, we had... Toy Story 3. So yeah, so yeah, Toy Story 3, this, one, this is one of my favorite Pixar films. It's not my favorite out of the Toy Story series, but I still think it's a good film. So yeah, it's probably the first Pixar film that's serious. So yeah, it's not really a kid's film because it's about Andy leaving and stuff. So yeah, this is the first serious Pixar film. So yeah, but I do like it. It has great animation. I do like it. It's a good film. But I think this is the first serious Pixar film. It's not really for kids because it's about um Andy leaving and stuff. So yeah, but I do think this has a great story and it's really good. So yeah, I like this film. It's a really good film. I love it. It's a great story to it. It's really serious and I like that. So yeah, it's really good animation and I like this film. It's a good film. Okay, that's 2010 and that's Toy Story 3. And then next up in 2011, we had Cars 2, the sequel to Cars. <sighs> really, Pixar? Is this how you follow up to the first Cars in Toy Story 3? So, yeah. Oh, this movie sucks. It's terrible. I hate this movie so much. The reason why is because Cars are not freaking spies. They are just Cars. Oh my god. Oh, I really hate this movie. It's terrible. Cars aren't spies, they're just cars. This movie sucks. I hate it. Oh. I saw this in cinemas back in July 2011. It sucks. And I saw Toy Story 3 in cinemas back in July 2010. And this movie, Cars 2, sucks. Oh, it's a terrible movie. I hate this movie so much. God. Cars 2, this is a really bad movie. I hate it. Okay, that's Cars 2, and that's 2011. And then next up in 2012, we had... Brave. So, yeah. So yeah, Brave's a good film. It's probably not one of my favourite Pixar films. I think this is another one to go downhill a bit. So yeah, I do think it's good. I think it has great animation. It's a good story to it. But I think this is another one of Pixar's downhill films. So yeah, I still this this is probably the their weakest one. So yeah, I do think this is good though. It has great animation. But um, I still think this is probably one of Pixar's um, weakest films, to be honest. So yeah. It's good though, I like it. it, has great animation, great story, but you know what I mean, so yeah, and I see the Brave logo written on it, because I don't have the cover for it anymore, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, but anyway, here's the front, here's the spine, and here's the back here. And here's the disc here. And if you like Cars 2, I respect your opinion. But I don't like Cars 2. It's terrible. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Brave. Um, yeah. This is the first Pixar film to go downhill a bit. But I do like this film. It's a great story and great animation. It's good. But um, it's probably the weakest Pixar film I've seen. It's good, though. I like it, though. So, yeah. So, yeah. Brave is a good film. I like this film. So, yeah. Okay. That's Brave. And that's 2012. 
And then next up in 2013, we had Monsters University. So yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, Monsters University, I don't like this as much as Monsters, Inc., but I still think it's a good film. So yeah, because so yeah, it's not as funny as Monsters, Inc. It's kind of more serious than Monsters, Inc. is. So yeah, another Pixar film that's serious. So yeah, this is kind of more serious than Monsters, Inc. So yeah, Monsters, Inc. was so funny, but this one's good, pretty good, but I kind of prefer Monsters, Inc., so that's the best one. But this one's pretty good as well. I like this one. It's a good film. I really like it. So yeah. Okay, that's Monsters University, and that's 2013. And then next up, in 2015, we had... Inside Out. So yeah. So yeah, now Inside Out is one of my favourite Pixar films. This is a really good animation film, clever film. See, so yeah, it's, it's basically about the world inside your head. See, so yeah, there's a rip-off version called The Emoji Movie. Which that movie sucks, but this is a way better story than the crappy emoji movie does. So yeah, and it's similar to like Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph's a good film as well, but I kind of prefer this to Wreck It Ralph. So yeah, so yeah, but this one's a pretty good film. Um, yeah, it's about the world inside your head, and it's really good. So yeah, it's one of my favorite Pixar films. So yeah, it's a really good film. So yeah, it's really good. It's clever and great animation. The world inside your head. It's clever. So yeah, it's a really good film. I like this film. I also saw this in cinemas back in August 2015. And I saw Monster University in cinemas back in August 2013. So, yep. Yeah. So, okay, um, that's Inside Out and that's 2015. And then next up in 2015 again, we had... The Good Dinosaur. And it says, from the creators of Inside Out. See, so, and it says, Pixar's most beautiful film. Wired. So yeah. So yeah, yeah, um this is a good film. It's probably not one of my favourite Pixar films. I do think this is a good film. So I can barely remember this film. I must give it a rewatch at some stage. So yep. Yeah. So I can just barely remember it. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I will give it a rewatch at some stage because I can barely remember this movie. So I can't remember that well. So yeah. So yeah, but I do think from what I saw of it it is it is a good film. I like it. So, yep. I do like this film. It's a good film. So, yeah. Bear in words, PG. Here's a front. Here's a spine. And here's a back here. And it says, Epic and beautiful with a Jurassic heart. Five stars, Metro. And one, it's one this DVD feature film plus bonus. And the bonus is Sanjay Super Team Audio Commentary. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's on for 90 minutes and it's PG Tales, Mouth Threat, Violence, Pentagon, Shenview, and Sunset's Memphis, and Frank Children. And you get the stifler here, there's the back. And here's a disc here. So yeah, um, so yeah, The Good Dinosaur, um, this is a really good Pixar film, but I can barely remember it, so I'll have to rewatch it at some stage, so yep. So yeah, but I, I do like this film, it's a good film, I really like this film, it's a good film. Okay, that's The Good Dinosaur, that's 2015. And then next up in 2016, we had Finding Dory. So yeah. so yeah, now I don't like this movie as much as Finding Nemo, but I still think it's a good um, film. So yeah, this one's okay, but I don't really like it as much as um, Finding Nemo. But I still think it's an okay film. So yeah. But anyway, to you, here's a front, here's a spine, and here's a back here. And it says, Unforgettable. The Daily Telegraph. And it's on for 93 minutes and you could taste a frequent mild threat university of all. And 
add his disc here. I'm really hoping they'll make a Finding Marlin at some stage. See, yep. so, because they made Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, so I'm hoping they'll make a Finding Marlin at some stage. See, yep. so I want Pixar to make a Finding Marlin at some stage. Maybe after Lightyear, they might make a, find, a Finding Marlin. See, I really want them to make that film. See, yep. but this is an okay film. I like this film. See, yep. okay, that's Finding Dory, and that's 2016. And here's and here's another thing, guys. We're we're also getting two other Pixar films that that are coming. See, so yeah, we're gonna get Turning Red. I watched the TV trailer of that um recently, and I thought was well, I thought it looked really good. See, so yeah. and we're also gonna get Lightyear, which I don't know when that's coming out, but that's a spin off to Toy Story. I'm really excited for that because one of my favorite actors is gonna play Buzz Lightyear, and that's Chris Evans from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, favorite movie of all time. So yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, so yeah. So yeah but anyway, next up in 2017, we had Cars Three. So yeah, that's the third movie in the Cars series. So yeah, at least this is much better than Cars Two. So yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I like this movie, but I don't think it's as good as the first Cars. So yeah, but I still think it's a good, um, entertaining film. So yeah. So yeah, I think that, oh, I think they're going to make a Cars 4. I don't know if they are, but I think they will make a Cars 4. So yeah, and I think we're going to get, um, an Incredibles, um, tree at some stage. So yeah, but I don't know when an, an Incredibles tree will come out. So yeah, so yeah, but I do think they're making a Cars 4 soon. So yeah, I don't know when it will come out. So yeah. So, yeah, but this one's good, but I don't like as much as the first Cars. I still think that's the best one, but this one's good. I like this one. It's a U, here's a front, here's a spine. As, as you can see, there's still a 14-year-old sticker on this because I got this in head back in November 2017. And here's a back here, and it says, A fun, high, octane trill ride. Philadelphia Daily News. And it's on for 98 minutes. And so you can test very much threat language university ball. And here's a disc here. Okay, um, Cars 3. This one's a pretty good film, but I don't like it as much as the first Cars, but I still think it's a pretty good film. Okay, that's Cars 3 and that's 2017. And then next up in 2018, we had Coco. So yeah, so yeah now Coco is one of my favorite Pixar films. Um, it's a really good um, musical film. Um, I really like this film. So yeah, it's good music in it and um, has a great story and I love it. So yeah, it's, it's like back to day after dad. So yeah, you can see it's similar to the Book of Life. I do like the Book of Life, but I kind of prefer Coco to this to the Book of Life because it has kind of a better story than the Book of Life. So the Book of Life is okay, but I kind of prefer Coco to the Book of Life. So yeah, because it's similar to the Book of Life, as you can see, because it's about the day of the dead. So I kind of prefer this to the Book of Life because it's a, uh, because it has a better story to it. So yeah, so yeah, but I do like this film. Um, it's a um good, entertaining musical film. It's one of my favorite Pixar films. I read really, this film's a good film. I kind of prefer it to the Book of Life. So yep. But anyway, it's PG. Here's a front. Here's a spine, and here's a back here. And it's one this DVD feature film, and it's on for 101 minutes, and it's Peach Tays, Mars Threat, Violence, Prank, Dying, Shen, Fium, Sun, Sif, Movies, Sif, Young Children. And here's a disc here.
so yeah, um, Coco, yeah, this is one of my favorite Pixar films. Uh, it's, this is a really good musical film. Um, it's probably one of Pixar's first musical films, so yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah. So yeah, okay, this is a really good film. I like this film. Okay, that's 2018, and that's Coco. And then next up in 2018, again, we had... Incredibles 2, the sequel to the, um, Incredibles. So, yeah. So, yeah, now this is, um, one of my favorite Pixar films. I think this is better than the first Incredibles because it has more action in it, but I do like the first Incredibles as well. So, yeah. So, but I do, I like, I prefer this one because it has more, um, action in it than the first Incredibles has. So, yeah. So, yeah, this one's a pretty good film. So, yeah, I like this film. It's good. It's more action than the first Incredibles. I like it. It's a good film. I like this film. Okay, that's Incredibles 2, and that's 2018. And then next up in 2019, we had Toy Story 4, the fourth movie in the Toy Story franchise. So yeah, so yeah now this is probably the weakest Toy Story I've seen. So yeah, so yeah it's, this is a standalone film. It's not connected to Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, because 3 was really the end to the Toy Story series, and this was just a standalone film. It wasn't connected to the Toy Story films. So yeah, but I just think this is the weakest Toy Story film because it's just a standalone film. So yeah, it's not connected to them. So yeah, but this one is pretty good, but I don't like it as much as the first two I do. So yeah, but this one's um the weakest um Toy Story movie I've seen. So yeah, so yeah, but it's pretty good. I like it. Okay, that's 2019 and that's Toy Story 4. And then next up in 2020, we had... Onwards. So yeah, this is one of my favourite Pixar films. I think this is a great adventure film. Um, so yeah. So yeah, um, I really like this film. It's a good adventure film. So yeah, this was the last film I got to see before the coronavirus. Um, you may know that. So yeah. So yeah, this is a great adventure film. I like this film. Um, it's a good film. Okay, that's 2020 and that's Onwards. And I also saw Toy Story 4 in cinemas back in June 2019. I saw Incredibles 2 in cinemas back in July 2018. And I saw Coco in cinemas back in January 2018. I saw Cars Tree in cinemas back in July 2017. And I saw Finding Dory in cinemas back in August 2016. And I saw the good Dying Storm Cinemas back in November 2015. Okay, and last up, um, this is Pixar's latest film, and this came out in um, 2020 as well. And this is... Soul, which came out in um, 2020, so this is the um, latest Pixar film. So yeah, it's not the latest Lucas, but that's not out on DVD, like I said. So yeah, and I told you about the two other Pixar films we're getting um, already. So yeah. so yeah, this is the latest Pixar film that's been out on DVD. So yeah. so yeah, Soul is probably the best Pixar film I've seen so far. So yeah, it's the best one I've seen so far since... Um, Coco. So yeah, so yeah, this is the best Pixar film I've seen so far since Coco. So yeah, I thought this was a really good um, film. So yeah, it was emotional. And as you can see, it's not really a kid's film because it's about dying and finding your soul. So yeah, so yeah, this is another Pixar film that's serious along with um, other ones. So yeah, this is the si uh, one of the serious Pixar films because it's about dying and finding your soul. So it's not really a kid's film. So yeah, but I do like this film. It's good and entertaining. It's the best Pixar film I've seen so far. So yeah, and this is meant to come out in cinemas, but they couldn't release it because of the coronavirus, so they had to release it on Disney+. Plus. So and I watched it on Disney+, Plus on Christmas Day, the first day it came out, and I thought it was really good. So I like Jamie Foxx's um, Joe, and I like 22, um, played by Tina Fey. See, so yeah, I liked her as 22. So yep. Yeah. It would have been great in cinemas, but never mind. So yeah. So yeah, but anyway, it's PG. Here's a front. Here's a spine. And here's a back in. I'm going to give this a rewatch when I go on holidays next week to Athlone, um, on 
Sunday. So yeah, so yeah, this is one of the DVDs I'm gonna bring down to Athlone and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it a rewatch. So yeah. So yeah, so yeah, but anyway, it says this is Pixar, it's at its very best, the independent, five stars. And it says stunning film stories, five stars. So yeah. So yeah, this one, this DVD feature film plus bonus, and the bonus is feature commentary. So yeah. See, and it's on for a 96 minutes, and Pikachu has more bad language, fantasy, threat, parental and Shenvy, and something for every young children. And here's a disc here. And this is in an eco friendly case, as you can see. So yeah, that's Soul, and that's 2020. So yeah, and Soul, um, this is a um, really good film. It's the best Pixar film I've seen so far. So yeah, and this is a good film. I like this film. And then I have two more DVDs to show, and then we're done with this. So yeah, and these are just extras. So yeah. So okay, the first extra I have is... Um, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Adventure Begins. Now, I haven't seen this in a long time, but I'll give it a rewatch soon. But from what I saw of it, um, it's a really good extra. So, yep. Okay, that's Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Adventure Begins. Okay, and the last um, Pixar DVD I have is, and then we're done with this, and the last extra I have is... This two of the Incredibles. So yeah. Okay, that's this two of the Incredibles. Okay, um, that's the fifth episode of Let's Talk About. That's why Let's Talk About and Pixar videos. So yeah, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, and stay tuned for the sixth episode, which will be tomorrow. And that'll be Let's Talk About Paramount. So yeah, and stay tuned for the seventh episode, which will be the last episode, which will be Monday. And that'll be Let's Talk About 20th Century Fox. So stay tuned for those two Let's Talk About. So yeah. And tell me, guys, in the comments below what you thought of my um, Pixar collection. So yeah. So yeah guys, thank you for watching my video. See you in my next video and goodbye. Peace.